What's up? So there's a new React documentary in the works coming out, I don't know, soonish. And I, I'm excited about this, but at the same time, I'm like, ooh, it feels like I'm living inside a movie. Like I've been writing React for a long time. Um, I was actually part of the initial crew um, that, you know, got to use it back when hating JSX was cool, when class components was the only way. What was it? Like React.create class, something like that. And, you know, um, and now there's a documentary about it. What? Um, I've watched the trailer and I thought, this is cool. And I got to thinking, ooh, I hope this, ooh, I hope that, ooh, I dream this, ooh, I, you know, and I was like, you know what, let, let me make a video and share with you um, things that I hope to get out of the documentary, things that I hope to learn from the documentary and, and, and so on. Um, and I thought, you know, we could do one better. We could do a reaction video. I've never done a reaction video before. So without much ado, um, let's air the trailer. Uh, and then I'll react to it. And then I'll talk to you about things that I hope to learn from this, it looks really exciting documentary. And I wanna hear from you. Uh, so, you know, through the course of this, or even if you have them ready to go right now, leave comments. Let me know what you hope to learn from such a documentary. And if you're excited about it or not. With that, let's get straight to the um, to the reaction. Okay. Wow, Netflix. Getting one, two, testing. Okay. Facebook was one of the first big products that was really yeah. an experience more than anything else. And as such, the user interface cool. itself needs to be really pleasing. Who's this guy? The product itself oh, look, it's Okino. Complex. And as we Tom Okino, the team, we didn't hit a wall, but it started to get really, really hard to make changes. That was around That's the so time cool. that Jordan was on the ads team. There like, he is, Jordan Walk. Hey, wouldn't it be easier if Lee Byron? This APIs is really changes, cool. User type something. We just blow away the entire UI and we re-render all of it. It was so far outside of everybody's idea of how things should work and do work. Yeah, it took a lot of convincing. Honestly, I thought it was completely crazy. There was no way that was gonna work. Yeah. I still remember like this wow moment when I actually tried Oh, it's it Viju. Like, it actually worked. Good guy Viju. It's this great example of this like underdog technology within a big company. Yeah where there could have been these forces that really pushed back on it. So it felt like this very indie- Rebel, Rebel Alliance, Alliance, I dig it. of project. If you want to spread an idea, you need to really convince a few people and have those Mark people Boga. share your message. You can't just be shouting at yourself. We started working on a JavaScript <laughs> library that helps us do that. This is and awesome. We call it React. It turned into a bit of a troll fest um, for no good reason. Yeah. I, I remember this that it was JSX. That it was People to like to hate. Popular project. To be honest, I think that ah, it Sophie. very nice. easily might not have been. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that's it. He just sits. I like. Oh, that's such a tease. Though, because it's like it was a slow burn. <laughs> yeah, it's a real slow burn. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. I would love, that's exciting, huh? New React documentary, pretty cool. Now I'm, I'm excited about this. I have some thoughts and I, I, I think they kind of alluded to it in the, in the video, but I think um, there's some things I'm interested in that, and I hope to see from this. Um, if you have you know, things you wanna see in this, drop a comment right now, or if you haven't yet fleshed out those thoughts, um, maybe at the end of the video, hear mine and then maybe that'll inspire you. But regardless, I wanna share with you the top three things that I, or maybe four things, I don't know, uh, that I hope to get out of this documentary um, and why I'm really excited about it. Um, number one, I mean, look, before that, I've been writing React since like 2014, it's like seven years or something, you know? Um, and it's exciting to see it come to this point. I mean, I remember back when JSX hate was all the rage, literally rage. Um, but anyway, uh, my top three, four things that I'm excited about. Number one, I hope to learn how, you know, it got incrementally adopted in Facebook. Cause like in a large company like this, there's always like a Sisyphus, like roll a boulder up a hill, like climb for convincing people and stakeholders that this is the thing. And it sounded in the trailer like there was a lot of pushback and they had to convince a lot of people um, to get buy-in. I wanna see how that worked in a large company. And maybe it can teach us a thing or two about how we can get buy-in for our ambitious, adventurous new projects um, in the industry. So really excited about that. Number two, I feel like React is like the king or queen of all the DevRel products. Like React has exemplary, extraordinary DevRel. I mean, it's a library for building user interfaces that has a ginormous, inclusive, respectful community with people creating libraries left and right, this buzzing ecosystem, user organized hackathons and conferences. And it's like every DevRel dream. And I, I'm hoping in watching this documentary, 
and I'll be able to glean some DevRel tips. In fact, maybe I'll do a video after about things I learned about DevRel and community building from React, because I think there's a lot to be learned there. Number three, um, I'm really interested in this drama they had, uh, I think it was 2017 with patents um, and licensing. There was pushback between should we license as MIT or maybe something more you know, restrictive. And I, I want the sauce, I want the tea, and I'm hoping that's there in the documentary. And I think it will be. Um, but lastly, React now, you know, the team has has broadened. There's people from Vercel on the React team now. It's not exclusively a Facebook or Meta-only team. And that's exciting to learn how they went from being a Meta-only thing to a more democratized project to now who even owns it. Um, I'd be interested in that. So those are my things I've been thinking about. Of course, you know, there's the moment of like, okay, the Dan has sat down. What's going to happen, right? That's that's the trailer kind of baited that. Um, but those things are the extra things that I'm excited about about this documentary. But I'm curious about you. Um, have you been writing React? If you have, um, what do you think of it? What do you want to see from this documentary? Leave a comment or at me on Twitter. But for now, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how React um, will go. Uh, with this documentary. I'm excited to hear the thoughts from people I know from the community. Tom Okino, Lee Byron, of course, Dan Abramov, Sophie Alpert, um, Andrew Clark. Like, I, you know, we hang out at conferences and now we get to hear the story like from their mouths. What's up? Um, exciting times. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think and what you hope to get out of it. Leave a comment or at me on Twitter. But for now, thanks for watching. That's been it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.